Hi, and welcome to lesson six of our Safe at Home Visual Journal series. Today's lesson is Quarantine Space, where we'll be sketching our quarantine spaces and writing a reflection about our experience in these spaces. We're going to start by talking briefly about interior landscapes. As always, we'll sketch and end with our reflection. Please post any questions that you may have at any time in the comments section. I'm available live for discussion and to answer questions during our class on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 11 to 12.30 and Monday through Thursdays during my office hours from 3 to 3.30. In our visual journals, we're shaping an artistic investigation reflecting on our experiences of life during the stay-at-home order. Our central question for week three is, what are the spaces around you like during this time? As an artist, when you draw or paint a space that you occupy, you're recording a document of what that space was like at that particular time in history. Contemporary artists like Stephanie Bauer are doing just that, recording their spaces during the COVID-19 outbreak. Our prompt today is draw your quarantine space. So the first thing I'm gonna do here as I get started is find my eye level and then start to find where my vanishing points belong. I'm doing this by trying to look to see where the walls move and where the lines lead in relation to my eye level, which is generally a horizon line. After that, I'm gonna to start to figure out proportions of some of the major uh, objects and some of the walls and windows and even the fireplace in the drawing so that I'm sure everything is right where it belongs. Now I'm drawing this from observation, so I'm drawing this in the room and I'm trying to draw it just the way I see it from my perspective. And I haven't done one of these in quite a while, so this is a bit of a challenge. To keep the video short, I'm gonna speed things up here a little bit. So the room that I'm drawing is actually, it's my living room, and it's recently been cleaned, so there aren't quite as many toys scattered all over the floor from my son, but uh, as you'll see as I get going here, uh, there are quite a bit of toys laying near the windows and on my son's play mat. So I'm just going to add in a few more details and clean things up a little bit before I add a little bit of watercolor. I'm going to start painting by laying in some shadows using uh, French ultramarine, which is kind of a nice cool blue, which will help my shadows to recede and look like they're moving away into space. So now I'm getting ready to add some of the highlights in using uh, Naples yellow, which is uh, a very nice warm yellow that will help prov provide a little bit of contrast uh, and help my highlights really stand out. Now I'm switching over to Burnt Sienna to start laying in some, some light watches for most of the wood, like the wood floor and table. Uh, and I'm going to start off with my colors very light and try to build them in a little bit darker as I go. So this is where things start to get a little bit tricky. I'm starting to work up the colors a little bit more. I want to try to maintain the balance of the light and shadow. Um, and the light is constantly changing uh, today as it comes in through the windows. Um, but I'm trying to still maintain a little bit of uh, the texture of the surfaces I'm working with, like the wood grain floors. Uh, and again, trying to build a sense of light and shadow to create 
uh, believable sense of realistic space. So now I'm finishing up just by kind of going back and trying to balance out my light and shadow here in the end. And then this one will be done. If you're still unsure how to post a seesaw, please see this video. Here are the journal prompts for today. 1. Describe the space you have been spending most of your time in. 2. What are the most important details that you added? And finally, three, what ways has this space changed during the stay-at-home order? Thank you for watching. To keep up with all of our lessons, please subscribe.